Imagine sleeping in your bed in the middle of the night and waking up to a stranger at your front door. It can be unnerving and frightening, and it happened to a local family just after midnight in North Charlotte. Some people just stole my car, and I need to borrow a phone right quick so I can call the police. This guy is asking for your help, but sometimes a plea for help can be a crime in the making. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joins us with more. Hello, yeah, I'm sorry to bother you right now. I'm just a police delivery guy. My name is Michael. I just had my uh, car. Could it, be, could it be all right if I can use your phone, please? Okay, stop the video. Clearly, Michael is in distress. He's out of breath. He, he just seems disoriented. Problem is, we've seen sob stories before. I've been walking around in the rain. I'm wet and I'm cold. This one right here woke up a Charlotte couple at 6 a.m. asking them for their help, asking them to open their door, claiming she had children with her. How could you do this to me? I always say how you know I'm only 19. Okay, stop it for a second. Similar situation out of Georgia, only this time the homeowner actually fell for it. Moments later, police say two masked men actually ran up and forced their way into the door. Now let's get back to Michael. I, park, I was parked right there in my white car. Some people just stole my car, and I need to borrow a phone right quick so I can call the police. I'll call this for you. So, Michael's car was stolen, but officials say it was recovered, and he was delivering pizza. Nonetheless, police say you shouldn't open the door to the possibility of danger. A recent survey showed out of 86 inmates, every single one said they knock on the front door before breaking into a home. There's a lot of people out here now who are very good at pretending to be something that they're not, who practice and rehearse. I've been walking around I'm Xavier Walton reporting for NBC Charlotte.